there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's good to see you. Thank you very much for coming back. It's It, it warms the cockles of my heart that you actually come and check this out. And uh, using energy to warm up my cockles, we're going to do these, an energy cycle. I have no idea what this game is about. Um, it's got like a Pikachu cat rat thing on the front of it. This is one of those games that I applied out for and got a code for, and I just haven't got around to playing it. So I'm really curious to know if, whenever it says Energy Cycle and has this kind of design to it, is this a mobile app game that's then been uh, something new? Sometimes you. Awesome. All right, I've seen these guys before. Uh, the I'm curious to know whether or not this is actually, okay, Puzzle, Time Attack, and Infinite Play. This is going to be one of those games where it's designed around a concept and it's just repeated and modified slightly from round to round. We'll go with puzzle first and check this out. Energy cycle. Oh, oh no, 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 don't. Um, too familiar. I've already seen these menus before. Oh, 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 no. Uh. All right. I'm not massively entertained by this game type. I that. Uh, Look at this. This is a PS4 title, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, there's, there's, there's literally, I don't have words for it. Uh, literally all it is is a change objects game. It literally just change the colors to match the next thing. I, th I thought it might have been something more than this, but it's obviously not. This is ridiculous. Uh. <sighs> so whoopee. Super excited about this. Uh, yeah, this is this feels like achievement grabbing, like in the same way that it's a you know, like top rated one thousand, and the other game being floated right here. This is not. This isn't a. This isn't a fun game. This, I've played this game before. I've played and. I'm almost sure I've played another game on the co this console that is exactly like Energy Cycle. This is awful. Fuck off. Uh, yeah, fuck this. All right. Um, essentially, I'm going. I'm going to take a wee momentary round this. Jim Quisition has been talking about the fact that the PlayStation Network is becoming a dumpster fire of games, and it is absolutely true. It has been. There's it's, there's a lot of good games being released. There's a lot of PC ports of simple indie games getting released on it. Which is fine, but it's just the, there's a level of quality and expectations that you kind of take from console releases. Like, um, the, like the, the old Nintendo seal of approval, where it would only get, it would only make it onto the console under certain particular circumstances. But this is not a good way to kind of endear ourselves to uh, the PlayStation Network for all of our games. We had the same problem with Steam whenever the floodgates opened. And obviously, there's a, a certain price to be paid to actually be part of the PlayStation Store. But damn! That's not a game. That's a mini game. That's a puzzle inside of a game. How much, is, how much are they charging for Energy Cycle? I need to look it up here. How much are they thinking of trying to play, charge for that? Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Energy Cycle PSN. This is awful. Um, it's so bad, it's making my video lag. That's how bad it is. I'm trying to find where it's priced. 
Oh. Wait, is there another one of these? Do I have another one of these that's actually sitting there waiting to be played? There is? There fucking is! Right, we're doing both of these back to back because I'm not fucking coming back here to look for another one of them. That is fucked, man. Hello, kitty. Uh, sometimes you fail to make any difference. It is exactly the same game. It is literally the exact same game with a different menu. Wonderful artwork. I mean, it. Is this the move? Is this essentially what RNG Cycle was going to be? Is this is this the evolved form of RNG Cycle, where we have our Radio Kitty, radioactive. Okay, so Kitty sees thing. Kitty was asleep. Kitty sees a thing. Kitty sees a ship. Kitty looks at ship. We move on. Yeah. Okay, has killed our engine. Okay, uh, let, let's let let's skip the dialogue for now. What the hell is this? So the, it's literally one kind of game done a number of times. So what we're trying to do math here to get zero point five. Okay, where is this going? Zero to minus five. Zero to minus five. Uh, what? Plus seven minus. Right, you have to swap them around. Okay. Are we trying to zero out the sum here? Okay. Why is that working out at minus five? Okay. Okay. I'm looking at this puzzle and I'm going like, this is interesting rudimentary math. Over minus five? Right. Are we trying to end with minus five? What? I was I was looking at there going like what was it they were trying to do? So they want you to get a, they want you to get the same result as the second result. Okay, fine. This this is fucking oh look at this ridiculousness. Ah, uh, these are well. So all right, I can understand being educational puzzles. Educational puzzles are not a problem. I, I I don't mind that. That's absolutely fine. But this is not. These are really low quality games. Now, I didn't watch it down and watch the dialogue because I was actually already angry as it was. So sometimes you, they've already got two games out released for the console that are like this. I don't I don't mean any offense to them as creators, but the first one, Energy Cycle, is a frustrating, simple, color changing puzzle game. Meanwhile, Energy Balance is a mathematical balancing game, which doesn't give many great explanations if you just jump straight into the puzzle mode. Oh, let's see here. Does it let it, how to play actually explain? Yeah, unbalanced. So the whole point is, is to balance out the equation. Ugh. Oh, God. Right. So that was Energy Balance and Energy Cycle by Sometimes You. These... Do do we want more of these on the PlayStation Network? Is that is that what we want? We want more of these indie games 
on the network or do we want to actually have what we had on say the xbox 360 era where a place all these indie games can go like the live arcade where it's okay to go you go in and you'd experiment and you try out and look at a bunch of stuff but you might not care about it i used to be willing to pay like a 99 cents to a dollar for these kind of experimental little games and if they were developed further then i would happily spend more money in the case of something like uh was it Dishwasher and Johnny Murder, I think it was in the end of, but there was other games made by that same developer. The games like this should not be actually being, being sold in the main store. They should actually have a place for themselves, an Xbox Indie uh, or Inside Xbox or whatever the fuck they call it, the, um, the Indie Partnership Program by Microsoft. Meanwhile, Sony needs to actually separate this off and do it the same way, rather than having people posing as full-time producers of games. So, um... Yeah, the, the, there's a lot. To, there's a lot of this kind of going on now, and I'm not enjoying it. Especially whenever I, and I'm, 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 I'm not offended by it to the point where I'll not play the games. But if if I keep getting games like this, I'm not going to be hyperactively pleasant about it, and I don't want to piss off a bunch of indie developers because they put they put their work, they put their time, they try to work hard on this. But ever since like Planet Two Thousand, was it? I've got a wild lot of these games coming through my mailbox and I'm not enjoying any of them. So uh, unless they actually really catch my attention, then I'm not going to, I'm, I'm either not going to cover them in a, in a detailed way or I'm going to use them as fuel for a rant. So yeah, energy balance and energy cycle. If you're interested in either one of these games, I may ask you to go and ask your doctor for a reference to some kind of counselor. But um, if you really enjoy math problems simple math problems and clicking on lights to get them to go the right way look at these games please don't buy them please don't spend your money on them don't encourage this on the playstation store maybe go to the mobile app store on your phone or tablet and see if these games are available there because they do look like they should have been made for a tablet instead but yeah if you, if you agree with my opinions, you disagree with my opinions on the energy balance, energy cycle, and this influx of indie games on the PlayStation Network, feel free to comment below and tell me what you think. Uh, tell me tell me where I may be wrong. Inform me if I'm actually not seeing the benefits of this. And if you agree with me, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and share the video around. And if you don't do this as a whole subscribe thing, uh, you can understand not everybody does subscribing. Hit, well not hit, memorize, past each of skin right here it's all there it's easy to find all you have to do is actually remember my name just google it and you'll be able to find me i am not trying to hide and of course if you're watching this on youtube there we go there's actually a button up there for you to press to actually be able to subscribe and over here there'll be a playlist and away over here will be a recently uploaded video and right here will be a video for you based on your user statistics and all the things that you watch and your search terms and all the stuff you do on YouTube. It will have picked a video out of my collection of ones that I've made that will be specifically to your taste and interest, so I recommend you click on that one over there. It'll be the best one you could possibly hit. Uh, or you can just let this play through and go on to the next video on the playlist. That's what your choices may be. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye. Ah, oh, damn it. I hit whenever I lose a pan.